It's easy to listen. We do it all the time. Well, we listen. But how do we listen? The quality of our listening has a great impact on the quality of our meetings. Different methods are available to improve the quality of listening. One well-known method is active listening. Another is called deep listening, which helps us not only to listen to others, but also to listen to ourselves. Active listening is indeed active. When you listen, you interact continuously with the speaker. You maintain eye contact. An important feature of active listening is mirroring or summarization. You speak back to the speaker, telling in your own words what you understand them to be saying. One advantage of active listening is that it helps focus. Knowing that I will be expected to mirror is a wonderful help to paying close attention. Another advantage is that it can be learnt and practiced quickly in many contexts. It is useful not least in interactions between children and youth and between adults and children. A disadvantage of active listening is that it tends to steer the dialogue through the ongoing feedback. We tend to say more of what we perceive to be liked or what the speaker would like to hear, what we think the speaker would like to hear, and less of other things. In deep listening, this is turned into an advantage. The listener gives no feedback to the speaker, either physically or verbally. There isn't even any eye contact. Deep listening is based on Taoistic principles and has some characteristics in common with meditation. By giving no feedback whilst being utterly present gives the speaker the opportunity to hear themselves. All advanced listening techniques are enhanced by the practice of parking to temporarily and consciously set aside the listener's own re responses, emotions, thoughts, analysis in order more fully to focus on the speaker's communication.